Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. This then looking at the second of the two new minions added in 6.3 to your submersible dives. Uh, the first one then from the Blood Break, which we looked at previously, which was the Suzasaurus. And this one then is an armorer craft uh, with a piece uh, called the Ominous Plating, as you can see on the left side of the screen there there's the recipes for this master armorer 10 recipe for the bantam train using one of those ominous platings that can be obtained from one of those new dive points i believe blood break is likely to be the same uh, place as the other minion uh, two limini ingots two rutilated quartz and four dynamis crystals with three ice and earth clusters apart um, this will require you to have recommended craftsmanship of 3700 Terribly difficult, but uh, it is a Master Armorer 10 recipe, so you will need the Masterwork books. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at this minion. I've been very excited to have a look at this ever since um, we knew it was going to be in the patch. So uh, we're in the Grand Cosmos on um, Explorer mode. I thought that would be the best place, considering it's actually quite you know dark in the game at the moment. And this is the Bantam Train, so let's learn this. The Bantam Train then cost me about 8 million gil today. Um, it's been available for the last couple of days, like the other minion as well, uh, since the dive point was became available to people to, to have a chance of getting it. And um, yeah, I've, I've waited a couple of days to get access to mine for a little bit cheaper. So uh, yeah, 8 million gil, things are coming down in price a little bit. Summon your Bantam train minion, it choo-choo chooses to haunt you. Nice Simpsons reference there, fantastic. This model train was assembled from mysterious parts salvaged from the bottom of the sea. Who it was meant to carry is unknown, but it is somehow tinged with a phantasmal air. Curiously, despite having no mechanism for self-propulsion, it tirelessly chugs along after you. Can we suplex it is the question, right? Can we suplex this train? The hidden text says, Allow me to perform a locomotive experiment with this body shape. A quote there of the envious yar. So uh, let's, let's, let's summon this, <clears throat> see what it looks like. Wow, that thing is enormous. I, I thought that this would be small. Um, considering the size of the Sousasaurus being so big, but that's quite a big train. If that rammed you, you wouldn't just have a busted ankle. You, <laughs> you'd, you'd have a broken ankle at that point. All right, well, let's turn off my character and let's have a quick pan around this fella then. So yeah, this is the Bantam Train. I'm, I'm so excited to have this one. I liked Phantom Train, obviously. I, I liked the, the Ghost Train boss. That we had what was in in Deltscape or something like that. I can't remember now. Good stuff. This thing just makes I, I just have this curious obsession with wanting to suplex it though. I hope that's one of the interactions. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's sort of like jiggling along. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Very nice. Let's see what we can do then. So is this an obedient minion? Let's have a look. So we can we can't. Alright, so we need to use a pet collection title. To trigger its emotes so let's get the mammoth here one that'll do okay we can make it feed from our hand which is very strange if you consider it a train eating from your hand what would a train eat i wonder oil i don't, I don't know coal i guess coal right or ceruleum in this case so a pet does nothing is it a poke <laughs> oh i just died i think <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> It rams you. That's just horrible. It's like, no, don't poke me. Spash. Right. That's I'm I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get to suplex the train, but at the same time, it's too hilarious. It, it's brilliant. Hold on. Let's see that again. <laughs> But it sort of charges in whatever direction it's facing. So if it was char if it was facing somewhere else, it just it's just gonna go around ramming people, isn't it? <laughs> I can imagine so many pictures and gifts coming out of this. Oh dear. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, it's a cool minion, honestly. I don't know what, what I was really expecting from a, a, a train minion. But uh, that thing is enormous. It looks like it would take your leg off. 
Especially how sharp that what well, cattle thing is at the front of that. Holy moly. Anyway, let me know if you've got this one yet. If you think it's worth adding to your collection. I personally do. I love it when minions are much bigger than, you know, you, you think they're going to be. It's, uh, it's nice. No more tiny little minions. More bigger, chunkier items. And I think the texture work on this is really good as well, to be honest with you. Very cool stuff. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. A train. Ow. Ow.